Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create web services in Java. Also guys, I will be showing you how you can consume it. So guys, let's start the video. Guys, in my further video, I will be showing you how you can uh, consume uh, web services of Java in .NET as well as in Python. So you can subscribe my channel for that video also. I have given link in description box as well as you can click on i button for watching that video. So guys, let's start the video. So first of all, I have started my NetBeans ID and guys here I will be creating one new web project. So just go to this file menu and here we have option for new project. Select this and here select the option Java web and from projects select the category as web application okay and click on next button guys and now here you need to provide the project name so whatever project name you want to provide you can provide here i'm giving project name as practical one and guys then we have a location where you want to save this project so you can browse wherever you want to save i'm keeping default and i'm keeping clicking on next button and now guys here it's showing me server and framework so i'm just keeping default and i'm clicking on next and finish button so guys you can see my project has been created here practical one my project and inside this we have a web pages right and now what i will be doing i will be creating what web service so just right click on your project name and click on web service okay so new web service and now here you need to give your web service name so i am giving my web service name as currency converter you can give any name. I am giving this name because my aim is what I am going to convert Indian rupees into dollars. So hence I gave currency converter. Give the package name. I have given package name as server and click on finish button. So as now you can see here I am just expanding this. Uh, you can see in web services folder. Uh, so guys you can see here web services folder has been created and here we have currency converted dot java file and here we have annotation at the red web service so that indicates this is a web service i'm deleting this default method and i'm adding new method so right click anywhere in your code and click on insert code and here select add web service operation now you need to provide your service name or operation name so whatever method you want to build you can give that name over here so i am giving inr to dollar as my operation name and then return type of this operation i am keeping as string because i want to return like inr this much inr is equal to this much dollar and parameter i am uh, taking because i need inr value so click on this add button give the parameter name and give the type and click on ok button so as you can see here the web method has been added this is a web method which is nothing but uh, which will be consumed by what client so annotation is at the rate web method and this is my method name do not change anything if you want anything to be added or if you forgot something to uh, pass to this method or parameter then you can create uh, again one more method do not change anything to this otherwise you won't be getting proper output now guys i'm just writing a proper body to this method so i'm just written code for converting inr to dollar and this is my code and simply i'm printing the indian rupees is this much dollar okay so whatever is the dollar amount just divide it by so my method is done now what we will do we will just deploy this method okay so for deploying you need to just go to what your project right click and deploy so you know guys when you deploy your project this is deployed on your web server okay so if you click on this services tab if you go to server you can see your uh, web services is deployed over there now let's test this web service so let's go to this web service folder just expand it and right click on your web service name and click on test web service so you are going to get this page so here you can see this is the tester page so uh, i'm getting one text box because i have passed one parameter and one button enter something and now you can see the output as you know web services input and output it is going to be in xml format so here you can see soap request and soap response 
So guys, my web service is ready. Now I will be creating client for consuming this web service. So rather than having output in XML format, I'm going to design a web page, JSP page. So here I'm just right clicking on web pages and here I'm giving file name as input.jsp. Okay. So on this page, I'm going to uh, provide one text box and one button. When user enters some INR and clicks on button, it gets converted into what uh, dollar i'm adding one more page output.jsp right click on this web pages and add the page output.jsp so this output.jsp i'm going to use it for displaying my output so here uh, now let me quickly code this input.jsp so so guys here i'm going to use a form tag so i'm writing form action equal to output.jsp so when i click on button it should go to output.jsp then I'm using pre tag and here I'm just writing enter Indian rupees. Okay. And then after that, I'm in, I'm using what text box. So input type equal to text, provide the name to your text box. So here I'm providing name to my text box as T1. And then guys, after that, I'm going to take input type equal to submit and I'm going to take input type equal to reset. So my input page is ready guys okay and here output i'm uh, not doing anything so now what i will do i will create client so for creating client what you have to do you have to again right click on your project so here practical one right click and select new and web service client okay so when you create you have to take web service when you consume you have to take web service client and now guys what you do just uh, click on this browse button and just expand your project name and select your web service and click on ok button so guys now here uh, in client you have to provide package name this should be different than the one which you provided while creating web service so there we wrote a server here we are writing client okay and this is my whdl path i'm just copying this whdl path because further i'm going to use this in my dotnet or php or python client okay just click on this finish button so now guys here you can see a folder has been added web service references so i'm just expanding this go on expanding until you get your method so now here in inr to dollar it's visible so i'm just deleting this hello world and this inr to dollar i'm going to select and i'm going to simply drag and drop it over body body tag okay so the code is auto generated and now here i'm just passing value to the parameter uh, if you remember we have passed one parameter to the method inr to dollar so now i'm using double dot parse double request dot get parameter and in parenthesis double quotes t1 so request dot get parameter will do what it is going to take whatever input you are providing in text box and double dot parse double is going to convert that into what double okay this is done guys now uh, i'm going to uh, just remove this result equal to line because already i have written INR is this much dollar. So that's done guys. Now let's run input.jsp. So here right click on input.jsp and select run file option. Okay. So now again you can deploy if you want again otherwise that's okay. So now let's uh, uh, run this input.jsp. So right click and select run file option. So guys, now here you can see I'm getting my text box and I'm getting button. So here, whatever amount you want to insert or enter, you can enter that amount and you can click on this submit button. So here I'm entering some values in this text box and I'm going to click on this submit button. So boom guys, I'm getting my output over here, whatever I wrote in my web services. So why I created client because the output of web services in XML format, but it's not uh, mandatory that uh, client should uh, view the output in uh, XML format. So we can convert that into what 
appropriate ui format so right guys i hope guys by following this video you are able to create web services and you are able to consume it in java so guys if you really like this video don't forget to hit on like button and guys if you have any kind of query you can put in comment box i will surely reply to your queries and guys if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel i create lots of content like this so you can click on bell icon to receive notifications from my channel thank you guys for watching my video till end i'll see you in my next video till that bye bye and take care guys keep learning guys